This video lesson is on the federal court system. Why did the founders create a national judiciary? The framers created the national judiciary in Article 3 of the Constitution. There are two court systems in the United States. The national judiciary spans the country and the courts run by each of the 50 states. What is the structure of the national judiciary? The Constitution created the Supreme Court and left Congress to establish the inferior courts, which are the lower federal courts. The Constitution created only the Supreme Court, giving Congress the power to create any lower or inferior courts as needed. There are two types of federal courts, constitutional courts and special courts. What criteria are used to determine the jurisdiction of a federal court case? Jurisdiction is defined as the authority of a court to hear, meaning to try and to decide a case. Article 3, Section 2 of the Constitution provides that the federal courts may hear a case because of either 1. Subject matter or 2. The parties involved in the case. Some cases can be heard only in federal courts. In these cases, federal courts have exclusive jurisdiction. Many cases may be tried in a federal court or a state court. In such instances, the federal and state courts have concurrent jurisdiction. A court in which a case is first heard is said to have original jurisdiction over that case. A court that hears a case on appeal from a lower court has appellate jurisdiction over that case. The Supreme Court exercises both original and appellate jurisdiction. The power to appoint judges to federal courts falls on the president. How are federal judges appointed, and what are their terms and salaries? The president nominates Supreme Court justices, as well as federal court judges, who are then subject to the approval of the Senate. Most federal judges are drawn from the ranks of leading attorneys, legal scholars and law school professors, former members of Congress, and state court judges. Judges appointed to the constitutional courts, including the Supreme Court, are appointed for life. Judges of constitutional courts may be removed only by their own will or through impeachment. Only 13 federal judges have ever been impeached and of them, seven were convicted. Judges who sit in the special courts are appointed for terms varying from four to 15 years. Congress determines salaries for federal judges. What are the roles of federal court officers? Federal judges have many levels of support in order to fulfill their roles. United States magistrates are appointed by each federal district court judge to handle duties ranging from issuing warrants to setting bail in federal criminal cases. Each federal district judge appoints one bankruptcy judge for that district. The president nominates and the Senate approves a United States attorney for each federal judicial district. The President and the Senate also select a United States Marshal to serve each of the district courts. Marshals act much like county sheriffs in regard to federal crimes. What is the structure and jurisdiction of the federal district courts? The 94 federal judicial districts include at least one district in each state, the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. Larger and more populous states are divided into two or more districts, reflecting the larger amount of judicial work done there. District courts have original jurisdiction over most cases that are heard in federal courts. 
the district courts hear a wide range of criminal cases and civil cases. A criminal case in the federal courts is one in which a defendant is tried for committing some action that Congress declared by law to be a federal crime. A federal civil case is one which involves non-criminal matters. What is the structure and jurisdiction of the Federal Courts of Appeals? The Courts of Appeals were created in 1891 to handle much of the burden that the Supreme Court faced in ruling on appealed cases. Altogether, 179 circuit judges sit in the 12 appeals courts. A Supreme Court justice is also assigned to each of the circuits. The courts of appeals only have appellate jurisdiction here in cases on appeal from lower federal courts. What is the structure and jurisdiction of other constitutional courts? How are federal cases accepted? We have the United States Supreme Court, Constitutional Courts, Special Courts, and other courts. The Court of International Trade hears civil cases arising out of tariff and other trade-related laws. The Appellate Court has nationwide jurisdiction and hears cases from several different courts. Most cases heard arise from the United States Court of International Trade, the United States Court of Federal Claims, and the United States Court of Appeals for Veterans Claims. What is the concept of judicial review? Judicial review refers to the power of a court to determine the constitutionality of a government action. The Supreme Court first asserted its power of judicial review in the case of Marbury v. Madison, in 1803. The court's decision laid the foundation for its involvement in the development of the American system of government. What is the scope of the Supreme Court's jurisdiction? The Supreme Court has both original and appellate jurisdiction. The court has original jurisdiction over cases involving two or more states and all cases brought against ambassadors or other public ministers. Most cases heard by the court are appeals cases. The court hears only one to two cases in which it has original jurisdiction per year. How do cases reach the Supreme Court? For a case to be heard by the court, four of nine judges must agree that it should be placed on the court's docket. Most cases reach the court when a party to the case asks the court to issue a writ of certiorari in order to a lower court to send a case record for review by the Supreme Court. Cases can reach the court by a certificate when a lower court asks the Supreme Court to certify the answer to a specific question in the matter. Appealing a case to the Supreme Court. Step 1. A case is filed in a federal district court. Step 2. Case is appealed to a federal court of appeals. Step 3. Case is appealed to the United States Supreme Court. The Supreme Court can either allow a lower court ruling to stand or sends the case back to the lower court to reconsider it or agrees to hear the case. Step four, Supreme Court rules on the case. Once the Supreme Court accepts a case, it sets a date on which lawyers on both sides will present oral arguments. Amicus curiae briefs are written documents filed with the court before oral arguments begin. The Chief Justice presides over a closed-door conference in which justices present their views on the case at hand. Opinions of the court. Once the court finishes its conference, it reaches a decision and its opinion is written. Majority opinion. 
formally called the opinion of the court, announces the court's decision in a case and its reasoning on which it is based. Precedents. The majority opinions stand as precedents or examples to be followed in similar cases as they arise in the lower courts or reach the Supreme Court. Concurring opinions are sometimes authored by justices to add or emphasize a point that was not made in the majority opinion. Dissenting opinions are often written by those justices who do not agree with the court's majority opinion. How can citizens sue the government in the U.S. Court of Federal Claims? The U.S. Court of Federal Claims handles all pleas against acts of the United States government. Those who have claims against the United States can possibly secure redress, which is a satisfaction of a claim, usually through payment from this court. What are the roles of the territorial courts and of the District of Columbia courts? Under its power to govern the territories of the United States, Congress created courts for the nation's territories. These courts are in places such as Guam and the Virgin Islands and function much like the local courts in the 50 states. As directed in the Constitution, Congress established a system of courts for the seat of government of the United States. The District of Columbia courts handle all local judicial matters for the district, including trials and appeals. What functions do the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Armed Forces and the U.S. Court of Appeals for Veterans Claims have? This court is a civilian tribunal, a court operating as part of the judicial branch entirely separate from the military establishment. The court reviews the more serious convictions of members of the armed forces at a court-martial or trial involving military law. The Court of Appeals for Veterans Claims hears cases in which individuals claim that the Department of Veterans Affairs has denied or otherwise mishandled valid claims for veterans' benefits. What types of cases are brought to the United States Tax Court? The U.S. Tax Court was created by Congress in 1969. The Tax Court hears civil but not criminal cases involving disputes over the application of the tax laws. Its decisions may be appealed to the federal courts of appeals.